What's up guys, Andy from Greek's Garage here, and today we are finally back on the boat project. I'm sorry it's taken this long to come out with a new boat video, but recently my mom got diagnosed and lost her battle with pancreatic cancer, so it's been pretty tough. But the good news is we are back on this boat project and we're going to have more consistent videos coming out that you're definitely going to enjoy. So in today's video we're going to be ripping out the old floors and getting it ready to install the new ones. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I announce the winner of the Super Clean giveaway. Okay, so we're going to be lifting up these two pieces of plywood right here and hopefully keep our fingers crossed that the stringers are in pretty good shape and we don't need to replace anything else. We're going to be replacing the floors with these nice pieces of mahogany plywood that I picked up. And of course, before I install them, I'm going to fiberglass and resin both sides to make sure it lasts a long time. Okay, I went ahead and spared you guys the time and took out all the screws that were holding the floor down. Also, if I have time today, my plan is to move into the cabin area here and start cutting out the rest of this floor and get it prepped and ready to put the new floor in. Also at some point, I'm going to have to cut out and replace this piece of plywood right here. As you can see, it rotted out right here in the middle. This piece was fiberglassed in on all the edges, so what I'm going to have to do is cut it out, put a new piece of wood in, and fiberglass the whole entire thing so this won't happen again. So I know you guys can't smell it, but there's a strong, like, fermented gas smell coming from somewhere. So after I pick these floors up, I want to find out where the smell's coming from and clean everything up. So let's pick these floors up and hopefully those stringers are okay. Okay, so I found out where that nasty smell was coming from. You see that liquid right there next to the stringer? That's old gas that has turned into sludge. So other than everything being really dirty, the stringers are actually in really good shape. Okay, I'm going to start vacuuming before I wash everything down. Okay, I found out how much gas this thing holds. On this side, there's a 27 gallon tank, and then there's another 27 gallons on this side, and then in the middle here, holds 135 gallons. So the grand total of 189 gallons of gas this thing holds. Jeez. It really looks a lot better just from vacuuming it. I was really worried after seeing that piece of wood in the back here all rotted out that the stringers were going to be in bad shape too. But luckily everything looks really solid. It just needs a really good cleaning. Speaking of cleaning, I want to get rid of this nasty smell in here and soak up all that sludgy old gas. Okay, 
next I want to replace the board that runs across here that holds the batteries in place. It's also starting to rot out, so we're going to remove it. Okay, now it's time to wash everything down. Okay, the belge area is looking a lot better, but in the next video, I'll be repainting it with some white epoxy belge paint. Okay, I did get most of that nasty smell out, but I'm probably going to have to go over it a few more times just to be safe but it sure is looking and smelling a whole lot better than it was. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm dying to see what the inside of this gas tank's looking like. Okay, so far it doesn't smell bad, so that's a good sign. Now it's time to get my boroscope, get in there and see what it's looking like. Okay, let's head in and check it out. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of gas in here that I'll need to drain out. Also some sediment that accumulated towards the pickups right here. But other than that, the tank looks pretty clean. Okay, let's put this back together for now. Okay, now it's time for me to announce the winner of the Super Clean Giveaway. 
and after randomly picking the winner, and hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly, but the winner is Sarah Trevetti. Okay, Sarah, you just won these two one gallon containers of Super Clean. I'll be shooting you a message through your comments, but if you're watching this video, you can reach me at greeksgarage at gmail.com and we can get these shipped out to you. In the upcoming videos, I'm thinking about putting a wrap on this boat. Comment down below on what colors you think I should go with. I was thinking of a pearl black and gray or a pearl black and blue. Let me know what colors you would go with. I'm also going to be dedicating and naming this boat after my mom who recently passed away from pancreatic cancer. Her name was Elaine and all of her close friends used to call her Miss Elaneus. So I thought there couldn't be a better name for this boat than miscellaneous since it's going to be put together with a bunch of different parts. So in the next video, before I put the floors in, I'll be repainting the bilge area with some white epoxy bilge paint before I put new engines in there. And then get those new floors installed. That's going to be a wrap for this video, but don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification because there's going to be a lot more videos coming soon. So thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.